A man wrongfully imprisoned for 21 years in the murders of two hunters was back in a Kalamazoo County courthouse today. Jeff Titus, who was released from prison three months ago, still has those murder charges pending against him as he waits for the prosecutor to decide on whether or not to put him on trial again or dismiss the case altogether. Target 8 investigator Ken Kolker, whose stories in 2017 raised questions about the conviction, was there when Titus walked free and was at the courthouse today. Jeff Titus had hoped to learn today that the murder charges pending against him would be dismissed, but now he'll have to wait at least another week. Titus waited in a conference room at the Kalamazoo County Courthouse as his attorney and prosecutor Jeff Getting met privately with a judge. You're just kind of waiting here to yeah. learn your fate. Yeah. They're going to talk to the judge right now, yeah. and I'm sitting here waiting. He was there for a hearing on a motion that his attorney hoped would force the prosecutor to decide whether to either dismiss the charges or go to trial. I'm 71. I graduated in 1971. And here I am sitting here waiting to see what my fate's going to be. And I've been utter suspense. Yeah. The original detectives in the 1990 murders of deer hunters Doug Estes and Jim Bennett in the Fulton State game area quickly cleared Titus through alibi witnesses. But in 2002, those alibi witnesses were ignored by cold case detectives, leading to his conviction. Susan. But then in February, a federal judge vacated the convictions and ordered his immediate release after evidence uncovered decades ago, but never presented to the jury, pointed to an alternate suspect a serial killer named Thomas Dillon. They had the proof that said that Thomas Dillon was there. He was ID. He admitted to killing two guys that were found close together. Today's hearing was postponed for a week. I think that this case should never have been tried or charged in the first place, but we're here, we're fighting vigorously for Mr. Titus, and we'll continue to do so. What's taking so long to decide? I mean, I've talked to the detectives who say they don't have the evidence. It'd be a difficult case to try to Doug Estes's wife who said he should be out of prison. What's taking so long? So there's difficult factual legal matters that need to be reviewed in terms of admissibility of evidence, witness availability, and whether or not or how the case would move forward. But it's been three months since he's Certainly out, it has. And it's still hanging over his head. It is. So what do you say to him? Thank you for your patience. OK. Titus's civil attorney tells us that he won't be able to file a claim for the state's wrongful conviction funds, at least a million dollars, until after these charges are dismissed. In Kalamazoo, Ken Kolker, News 8.